today's video is all about some haul stuff. I went shopping. I kind of sort of, I kind of had to, you know, stuff like this happens. Sephora had their VIB sale recently and I definitely had a lot of things on my list. So I had to narrow it down to just a few things because I'm in the process of moving and I did not want to pack extra things. I didn't want to lug around all of these bags and stuff like that full of product because I realized I've got a lot of makeup. It's a problem. Like they need to create like makeup rehab for people like me so that we can go and check ourselves in and just do a makeup detox, right? That probably wouldn't work for me, but anyways. Um, I got a couple things that I wanted to try, a few things sort of snuck in there last minute, but I'm really excited that I was able to get pretty much everything that I wanted to so far. Okay, so the first thing that I wanted to do was I wanted to try one of the new uh, Sephora favorites set from this year. I used to, years ago, I used to always get the Lash Sephora set and or Sephora favorite set, and I kind of stopped. It's been like two or three years since I've, I haven't purchased one of those, and when I saw this one with the Sephora Favorites Superstar, I decided that I was going to give this a try. And it comes in a cutesy little gold box. Like, look at that. I mean, you could definitely buy something like this and gift it to somebody. And if you buy one for yourself, you can use this. Like, I would probably use this to store makeup. I'm not going to lie. It's cute. I like it. So, here are all of the pieces. They're still in the little container. Ooh, see? And I've used this Smashbox Primer Water uh, to dampen my brush and do like a foiling technique and I do like that. I haven't used it as a primer yet. The Hydrating Primer from Makeup Forever, I've used it in my T-Zone and for some odd reason, I don't know what, why, what's in that primer, but it definitely keeps my oil in control in that T-Zone. I'm pretty oily everywhere, so that's, that's bizarre for me. I've tried that Benefit Mascara before and it's good, it's not my favorite. Um, this stretch mascara, it's from, I think it says Made in Korea on the, on the packaging. I used it today in this uh, tutorial that I filmed. The Laura Mercier, I've used that before um, in previous videos and I've been using it every day. Love that. And the NARS Dual Intensity Eyeshadow is in the shade Himalaya, right? Yes, Himalaya. Oh, like, let's just take a moment to observe this beautiful thing. This eyeshadow is incredibly beautiful. It is a pretty sort of bronzy color and as you can see, you see that how it reflects a little bit with the light? It's got that sort of liquid metal look to it and yes, it's really tiny but I mean it's not like you're getting an excess bulk of packaging. I hate when you buy a very high end like department store or designer product. It's a makeup item and it's like a massive little compact but then the shadows are like teensy tiny, I'm like, okay, where's the rest of my product? Like, I just paid $75 and you're getting nothing really. So, I do like this. It's very small. I feel like this is like the perfect travel size. And another great thing about this set is that you could probably buy something like this and then break it up and gift certain pieces to some of your girlfriends or, you know, friends, fam anybody. You can create little gifts. That's why I like the Sephora Favorites because you can buy a ton of them, break it up, and, and just sort of customize and create something special for someone. So I like that. Then the eyeshadow, uh, the Urban Decay one, it doesn't want to come out. It's in, the, it's in the color Lounge. And that one is a very cool sort of um, reddish brown with a greenish duochrome. It's very, it reminds me a lot of MAC Club, but I think this is definitely much more pigmented and much more intense. Um, so I will be using that. I can't wait to, you know, put my paws in there. That little brush is really cutesy. It's kind of tiny from Tarte, but you know, it's really cute. If you're traveling, this will be great. I use it, I've been using it ever since I bought this set to just place the product and it will place a lot of it and then you have to buff it out because it's a very stiff, dense brush, but it's really, really good. So I like that. And the liner is actually pretty good. I use both of them. So, so far, I'm really impressed and I think it's worth it. I know I've talked probably like six, seven minutes about that damn set. So anyways, let's move on. Um, I had gotten a sample of the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation when my skin was really dry, that one, and I got a sample of the Tarte. I decided to just bite the bullet and go for the Ultra HD um, bottle, a full size, and I wear the shade number 125. So on the bottom it says 125 equals Y315. So I think the Y315 is the old uh, numbering because they've reformulated the whole formula itself and then I guess the numbers are different. I remember doing a review on this 
years and years ago here on my channel and I didn't like it and I think it was because I, I don't know the, that formula just wasn't working for me and the moisturizer that I was using was probably not a good one for oily skin at the time and I just didn't like it also I didn't like the um, matte velvet plus which has been one that's been recommended to me by a couple of the gals there they say that's a really good one for oily skin I just don't really like it so far this one's been working for me and I um, We'll be reporting back on that and see how that works, but I've been using it every day since I got it and I haven't broken out. I haven't had any issues with it, so I feel like it it's working so far. Fingers crossed that that is like it for me. <laughs> then I decided to try the mattifying primer. I've got, I had a sample a while ago, so I got a travel size of the Step 1 uh, Skin Equalizer. This is the mattifying primer. And... I have been using this to control oil because I'm very oily and I've been putting it in my in my cheeks. Today I wore it all over, but um, when I got the Sephora Favorite set, I put the hydrating one in my T-zone and then this over my cheek area, and it worked for several days, and then now I've decided to go the matte one all over to see how that works and just see which one is better for my skin. I do like this one. I feel like if you have any sort of like dry skin patches, like I had some around my chin, it sort of kind of clinged and so did the foundation, but it's not as bad. And that's the reason why I got this. And I'll talk about that in, when I review it, but um, I am enjoying that. I also got a mini, so I guess it's a mini size, of the Laura Mercier uh, Translucent Setting Powder. I've heard a lot of good things here on YouTube. And I asked the gal how long would something like this last if I were to use it every day. And she said, you only need a little teensy amount. So I've been using it to set my concealer, also using it to set my foundation, and it's it's worked really well. So I'll definitely be using this more often and giving you my thoughts, just in case any of you are curious about what I think about it. But this is the 0.33 ounce, and this was, I think, $22.50 without the discount. And then the full size, I believe, is $37 or $38. But the last few tutorials that I've posted or videos that I've done, I've been using this. And I feel like it does make my skin look really nice. Sort of porcelain looking without looking heavy, cakey, without putting on an actual powder that changes the color of my foundation. And I feel like it's a good one. I'll definitely have to sort of use it more to see if it's actually worth that high price point. I don't know. So I took advantage of the sale to try that out. And then the last thing that I got during this VIB sale was... This Visor palette. I know, I caved, okay? Let me explain. <laughs> um, I figured 20% off of $80 is a pretty good discount. I, I think I saved like around 16 bucks. So I thought, okay, this makes it really around the same price as some of the other palettes from Sephora that you find or from the other brands that you can get at other department stores. I think like I want to say this came out to $64 with the discount, and I'm pretty sure that's just a couple bucks more than what I paid for my Urban Decay Vice palette. And I know it's two totally different brands, different formulas, different colors, but I got the one that was all matte. This is the 01 Neutral Matte, and I filmed a tutorial today showing you guys how to do this eye look, how to use this for contouring, for bronzing, for highlighting, setting the under eye area, and also for my brows. So I've replaced six products with this one palette. So for me, I feel like because I'm able to do that, I feel like I am, I, I feel like in my mind it makes it worth it. The formula is really great. They're very pigmented. Um, I will show you guys just a few here. Like this warm tone, I mean, could you die? If you love warm tones, these two shadows right here, these two in the center, bomb, bomb.com. And this is the one I use to contour, and I also use this for my brows. Um, here's that black. I use that for my liner. It's like crazy. Like, OMG. I've died and gone to eyeshadow heaven. I can see what all the hype is about. And there's just secondary swatches. I didn't really swatch this top one really well. Um, but those are the swatches. So for my finger there, I mean, for it to swatch twice like that, it's, it says something. And for me, I'm just going to use it some more. I do like it. I do like this all matte look. I'm used to wearing some shimmers, so it's kind of something i got to get used to. But I like it. So far, I'm digging it. Okay, and then I got a few things from Ulta. I used some of my beauty points, and Ulta also had their 20% off, uh, I think, the week prior to the VIB sale. So, of course, it's like, you know, I think they do that on purpose. Um, I got a couple things. The first thing was the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills self-made palette, which is also available 
at Sephora.com, but I saved 20% on it anyways. So I decided to get that. And the reason why I had the 20% off, just to let you guys know, is because I'm a platinum member with Ulta, so we get extra sales and bonuses throughout the year that just regular customers don't get unless you're a platinum member. And I've used this in a few tutorials. I've already posted, I think I've posted both of them or just one using um, the green and these sort of like grayish colors. I do have another one where I use this purple and this pink. Let me just say that deep purple is doing me right. Let me just swatch it for you guys. Like if you love purple, that is a great color to wear. It's beautiful on brown eyes. This pink champagne isn't really pigmented on its own. When you swatch it, it's like, oh my god, like could you die? But then when you put it on with an eyeshadow brush, it doesn't really translate. So what I did was I applied this on the lid with a regular eyeshadow brush and I sprayed the brush with my um, primer water from Smashbox and it just was like beautiful. Loved it. So you'll be seeing um, those coming up, those two colors featured in a tutorial, but let me just kind of swatch those two. You, do you see that pink champagne? Like, oh my word, really? And I've used the green one so I'm not going to swatch that because if, if you want to see it, uh, just watch that tutorial. Here's that pink color. It's called Blossom. Really, really pretty. So I'm really excited about that. It comes with a double-ended brush. Uh, it feels really soft like this one. Um, the shadow brush and then the crease brush is... I can work with this. I can make this work. If I was traveling with just this palette and I forgot some brushes, I can make it work. Then my last... Oh no, actually I got two more things. Um, the other thing was the NYX Butt Naked Underneath It All. I, that sounds so weird. Butt Naked. <laughs> I think this is their sort of take on like the whole naked thing that Urban Decay has just just gone too far with it and anyway so this is the palette I've used this in a couple tutorials and I got this one and another product from NYX because of um, Emily Noel she influenced me yeah she made me buy it from Beauty Broadcast here on YouTube and she really liked this palette and when I saw the colors I was like done done add to cart over so I use this a few times. I do like it. I do think it's pigmented. It's got a nice range of shimmers and a good amount of matte colors. So I definitely will be um, showing you guys some swatches at some point or if, if I remember I can insert some in this video. And then at the bottom you also get, um, it's, it's a bit of a pain to open, I'm not going to lie. I'm trying not to break a nail. Yeah. <laughs> and this is what the bottom looks like so this just slides out and you have four blushes they're all matte except for this peachy one here has a bit of a sheen but I don't feel like it translates too much on my skin which is great because I'm oily so I like that they're pigmented just as they are if you buy individual ones from NYX and then you have three humongous freaking highlights like these will last forever and they're actually creamy. They're not like the best highlights, but as you can see, they're very pigmented. One is like a pearl white. Let me put them on the back of my hand. A pearl white. Um, one that's more of like a champagne, yellow champagne. Pearl, the pearly white, the yellow champagne, and then the soft pink. But again, secondary swatch. You wouldn't use it that intense unless you really want to be seen from outer space, which, girl, boy, if you're watching, I've been there. I do it all the time. Um... You can definitely do that whole strobing thing, which is the same thing as highlight. Um, you could do that with this, or you can definitely just use a little bit of it to get a very soft, natural look. So don't be freaked out about the pigmentation. You're like, oh my god, that's just too much for me. You can definitely tone it down. And I do think that overall, the quality is really good, very pigmented. For me, NYX is kind of hit and miss with a lot of their things, but I do have to say, that's impressing me. And then I got a little set. I don't know what this is called, so I'll put the name on the bottom of the screen. But it came with a bunch of little things from NYX. The um, Blush and Contour Duo, which I've used in a couple tutorials. You also get the Pore Filler, and this is a 0.37 fluid ounce. I've been wanting to try this to see if it works uh, to control oil and then also make my skin really nice and smooth before foundation. And I've used it a couple times, and I do like it. It's got a bit of a silicone feel to it. You also get a full size of the NYX Butter Gloss and Creme Brulee. This is my second one of these. I love this. It's the perfect shade. It smells like cupcake batter. Oh, I could use a cupcake right now. Just letting you guys know. And you also get a small little sample of the Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator in the shade Sunbeam, which this is supposed to be their version of the uh, High Beam by Benefit, which I prefer High Beam by Benefit and over this one. It's got a really nice sort of pearly finish, 
But there is, I'm picking up a little hint of a silver sort of flecky something something in there. Which I'm not too thrilled about, but I definitely have to use this on my skin and see how that looks. But that's it blended out. Very pearly pink color. So it's an intense highlight. You could use things like that, liquid highlights, in your foundations if you want to take a satin or matte foundation and make it more luminous and dewy. You could do that, um, which I have not tried and I probably won't. <laughs> um, anyways, the next product is the All Over Balm infused with argan oil. And it comes in like a cutesy little tin. Just you know, cute for travel or if you want to leave it by your nightstand and use it at night. I've used this a couple times and it's nice. It's kind of just like a regular kind of balmy feel to it. It's got a bit of a sheen to it because of the fact that it's got argan oil. There's nothing shimmery about it. But this will be great to use on, you know, dry patches on your elbows. If you want to put some on you know, like your, um, your heels and then um, put a pair of socks on. You have soft feet in the morning. You could use this for a cuticle. Um, actually, that's a good idea. I'm using it around my cuticles. I need to paint my nails, by the way. And it's it's really great. So I'm going to keep using that, and I can probably do a review if you guys are interested. But it seems to be just like a regular lip balm, whatever thing. You also get a matte finish, uh, long-lasting setting spray. I've wanted to try this, so this is definitely enough for me to figure out whether or not I like it and whether I want to buy the full size of it. But I wanted to try that, so that also got me more onto getting this set. And then you also get a small HD finishing powder, which it looks very similar to the one by, uh, what's that brand, Makeup Forever. They have a pressed one and a loose one. So this is probably their version of that or their dupe for that. I don't know if it compares because I haven't tried that one from uh, Makeup Forever. But I have used this before and it works nicely it, it sets my makeup it doesn't add any color it looks white but it goes on clear I've used it to set my under eye and it works dusted it over my primer on my eyelids prior to shadow and it works really well as well so I think this is a really cute set I mean this is a really nice little kit and I believe this is 25 bucks I, really inexpensive or maybe 20 something along that line and this would be a great set if you're interested in trying NYX, if you're new to NYX. If you have a makeup lover on your list, you could definitely give something like this too and wrap it up and put a nice little bow on it. That's a cute little gift. I mean, you get a lot of their, I would suspect, big selling items. Their popular items like the setting spray, the under eye setting powder, the highlighter, the, I mean, that, yeah, the highlighter and the bronzer and contour. So I think this is a really cute set. Just as this, um, this, but make it underneath it all palette. This will be also a good gift. I mean, it's not so travel friendly, but this will also make a good gift. So that is all of my stuff. I will refrain from purchasing for a little while. Let's hope. Oh, no, I forgot to show you something else. Ah, I forgot. Saw it right here. I got from the VIB sale. I also got this little Basha skincare trio. It's a Charcoal Pore Minimizing Trio. And this was $15 and then the 20% off on top of that. So in this set, let me just talk about this real quick. You get the Detoxifying Black Cleanser. It's a 1.7 ounce, great size to um, try out. And then um, I also got in that set the Luminizing Black Mask, which is a peel-off mask. I'm excited to use this, I'm gonna try that. And then you also get the Revitalizing Hi Black Hydration Gel. I've been wanting to try these products. They come in black little containers like that for a while. But, you know, it's not super expensive, but kind of it is when you're buying a bunch of pieces to try full size. So they have other sets with the Basha Skincare, which I like. And, you know, Sephora's got really great sets. Um, I tried the hydration gel last night in my T-Zone. And I put my acne medication on my cheeks. And I can tell you that this made my skin really dry. It's got a bit of a shimmer to it. And wait for it. It's black. Yes. Creepy. But when you blend it out, it it sort of blends into the skin. It feels nice when you're applying it to the back of your hand. But I don't know. I just... It smells nice. It smells like regular the regular Bosch stuff. Uh, I just am not really digging this. I feel like it's not enough moisture for me. And I'm oily, so... You know, keep that in mind. But there is a bit of a sheen, like a glow to it. It's all right. Haven't used the mask. But the cleansing gel, oops, just dropped the cap, is also, um, the cleansing product is also black. I used this last night in the shower. And I'm applying it to the back of my hand, and it feels very warm, like a warm sensation. And I read on the, I didn't see anything on the bottle that said warming sensation. I don't know if it's on 
the website, but I thought, okay, maybe it's just because I'm in a really hot shower, the steam. But then I'm putting it on my hand and I feel it. Like it's warm as I'm talking to you and it feels really weird. I don't know. It's bizarre. So I'm going to try it. I think it cleans my skin really nicely. It doesn't leave any makeup residue, but I don't see any sort of like miracle thing just yet. And again, I've only used it once. So now we're officially done. This is it. I'm finished. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I know it's a lot of product and I've probably rambled a lot, but I really wanted to kind of talk to you guys about um, some of the products because I have used some of these things already and I will list them all down below. I'll put the links to the Ulta website and Sephora. And yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did shop the Sephora VIB sale, let me know in the comment section what you got because I kind of want to know. And yeah, maybe I can get some more product recommendations to justify another purchase. Hi. Uh, so thank you guys so much for being here with me today. Have a fabulous day. And if you'd like to connect with me on Twitter and Instagram, it's at Glamour by Lexi. And also I have Snapchat. Tune in. You can find me there if you're interested. It's all down in the description box. And have a fabulous day. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.